I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. The old rugged cross, awesome uh, old hymn. Um, and this is uh, kind of Alan Jackson's version. This is the key he does then. You can do it in any key you want to, but uh, we're going to do it in G today, the key he does then. My name is Keith Williams with Fretmore Guitar Lessons. Appreciate y'all tuning in today where we uh, fret more, stress less, make a whole lot of music. and We'll make a little music on this old gospel hymn here. And it's got a few changes. It's got some seventh chords in there. Uh, and, you know, I used to not play them, honestly, when I played this song in church. But uh, So you don't have to do them. I'll show you, uh, you know, uh, uh, the chords, all of them, but, but you can decide which ones. I mean, some of them you got kind of need. Of course, there's a there's an A minor in there. You really need that. But some of them, you know, you could you could get by with uh, without having those. But uh, it does sound kind of nice. Kind of adds a little a little something extra there when when you do put them in there. So anyway, let me show you these chords real quick, and we'll get right into this song. Uh, I'll do a G, probably mostly like this. I do a G like this as well strumming six but I, I do this one quite a bit and i'll probably do this one here mainly because we've got a g7 in there so g7 is just the first finger on the first string of the first fret and you just lift up your your pinky and so you go from there g to g7 okay and then you can just drop down to c it's pretty easy and then of course a minor again pretty easy there okay and then we go we've got a d in there and a d7 so the seventh chords are real pretty chords, and they just really do add a lot to a song. Like I say I used to, uh, I used to not use them a whole lot, but uh, I realized, you know, doing these lessons, I'm like, man, it's got something a little different in there. I've been kind of skipping over that and missing, missing out. So, but you know, as as a beginner, I understand you, you know, it's a lot of uh, a lot of changes sometimes, and and uh, you can get by without some of them okay so uh, now this song i did a cover on this you can check it out and play along with it if you want to and kind of watch my uh, fingering and the positions there and all that but um, uh, you can start it out with strumming if you want to and just strum down up just like plucking the sixth string down up fifth string down up or you can just start like i started it was just I don't know if I strummed, I kind of had it in my head, but you could strum the strings on the, the G chord. On a hill, far away. Now I'm going to G7 there. G7 on the away. Now you don't have to do that. Like I say you can just stay there. On a hill, far away. You know, you can get by with that. It's not a big, it's one note difference, okay? But I'm going to the G7, okay? Stood and old to see rugged cross. Here's our A minor. The emblem D of suffering. I'm going to D7 there on suffering and shame. Back to G. And then I'm going to D here. Now I'm doing a little run. Um, again, you don't have to do this run. It's just something I like to do just to kind of fill things out uh, since I'm playing by myself a lot. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me see here. Get to it. It's on the fourth. Uh, it's on the fourth string open and then second and fourth fret down up open and then second and fourth so let me uh, show you where we're going to do that at the emblem so, uh, i love that old cross okay uh i'm gonna start all over here on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross the emblem of suffering and shame okay so i'm doing like an open fourth there Open fourth uh, on the second fret. So open fourth and then going second fret on the fourth. And then just going to the D. And then just. And this time I'm not doing the open part. I'm just. Okay. Going to the G there. Uh, I think there's one part where I'm actually doing the, the open string twice, like I showed you there a minute ago. But. Uh, not in that place. Okay, so when we get to it, I'll show it to you. Uh, okay, so, and I love that old cross, G7 again, where the dearest C and best A minor for a world of loss to the sinners. D7 was slain. 
Okay? So that's the, uh, all the verses um, are just like that. Just like what we just did right there. Okay, so G, G7, if you want to do the G7. C, and A minor, and D, and D7. And you, don't, and you don't even have to do that part. You could just stay in the G instead of... You, you, you wouldn't have to go to the D there if you don't want to. You could just stay there. Uh, M, suffering, and shame. You could just keep strumming there and just and go on to the next line. And I love that old cross. Okay, So that's just an option you can, you can throw in there. I kind of like it. kind of breaks it up a little bit and uh, changes it up. And it seems like that's kind of what they're doing. I don't think they're doing the run. Uh, they're, uh, on the, the version he's doing is mostly piano. Uh, so I'm kind of improvising a little bit with the guitar here. Uh, all right, so the chorus. Uh, so now you know that verse. I'm not sure how many verses is in this song, but probably four or five at least. Uh, he does two, and, and that's what I do on the cover. Same two that he does. Uh, it's like first and second, I think, see what he does. And then, uh, so anyway, here's the chorus. And again, the chorus will be the same, of course, throughout. All right. And it goes to uh, D, first thing. So I'll cherish the old rugged. And I'm going to D7. You could actually, so I'll cherish. I think it actually goes to D7 first. I'm not sure what I did on the cover. Sometimes I would go to the D and then switch over. But if you don't want to switch, I, it, you can go straight to the D7 there. So I'll cherish. I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing anyway. The old rugged cross. I may have done that, like I say, on the cover. I can't remember exactly, but uh, uh, and then I'm going to G7 there, right after the. So I cherish the old rugged cross. Again, you can just stay in the G if you want to. Till my trophy see at last I lay down. And I did kind of a little, just so you know what I'm doing on the the cover. I'm just since I'm my, my I'm doing that G in that position, I, I sometimes go down here to the second string on the first fret and just do a little pull off. Okay, just kind of a just a uh, I like to say just a little extra thing that I throw in there. Uh, you don't have to do till my trophies at last I lay down. Like I say, just fluff is all it is. You don't have to do it. I will cling to the old old goes to G7 if you want to do it. Rugged cross C A minor and it's G exchange it someday. And this goes to the D7 here. Say for exchange it someday for a crown. If I get the words right. Okay. Got them right in front of me. Can't read them. All right. <laughs> So, yeah, it goes to the D7th on the end of that instead of the D. It just goes straight to the D7, and it does that on So I'll Cherish as well. It goes to the D7, so you really don't have the D uh, coming into play there in the uh, chorus at all, I don't believe so. Yeah, So I'll Cherish, O Rugged Cross, G7th, and C to my trophies, and last I lay down back to G. I will cling to the old rugged, Old, on old, old rugged G7, cross C, A7, okay, back to G and exchange it someday, D7, for a crown, okay, so that's the whole chorus every time. Now, what he does at the end, um, or at least what I did, I think he repeats the whole last line. I will cling to the old, to the G7, rugged cross, A7, or A minor, excuse me. And exchange a G someday, D7, for a, and he goes to C, crown. And so I just do that lick there, just it's on the fourth string again. I'm just doing a hammer on, on the fourth, fourth string. So open, I mean just doing a hammer on. Open, and the fifth string. Hammer on, open, and kind of a pull off. Hammer on, pull off. 
and it ended it on the G there. Okay. I think on <laughs> on the cover, I just didn't redo it because it was the last lick, and I'm like, oh crap. I mean, that wasn't really what I wanted to do. Didn't sound terrible, but it was like. So I went, I went, I went to the to the right there instead of in the. I went to the third frets to the second, but. wasn't horrible but it ain't as good as okay so anyway uh, uh be sure and check out the cover you can play along with it if you want to and kind of see those changes happening uh and uh and play along with that but anyway i appreciate y'all tuning in today give us a thumbs up on this one if you would uh subscribe to us check out our links down below in the description uh check out our other videos share us on social media and all that kind of fun stuff and we'll see y'all in the next one thanks